Hello lovely year 3 teams. I was going to show you this today. I didn't because I was too busy working out that the answers are wrong in the book. So I'm going to teach it to you now via video. Now, where are we going here? We've got object properties. And this point we are going to make red and fat. Okay. So there we go. Here's point A. Now point A is a point on the curve E to the power of x. I'm going to grab a tangent. So where's the tangent? Here. Grab the point, grab the curve. So this line here is the tangent at point A of the curve e to the x. I'm going to make that a little bit fat and it could also be red because it's the, the gradient at that point. Now I'm going to get a point B. So new point here. Right click object properties. What I want point B to be is the x coordinate of A, so the x coordinate of point A, and then I want it to be the slope. I've gone this the wrong way around because when I put M it's not going to actually work I think because I haven't put the slope in. Let's see. Not going to like it. No, I'll have to start again by going slope. So I need to get the slope. Where's my slope? There's my slope. So I want the slope of this tangent. There we have a slope. That will be M. So now I can try B again. Object properties. Again, we're going to have the X coordinate of A. And then we're going to have the slope of that line, which I happen to know is called M. Because if we look at M here, it's the slope of A. If I'd have known that syntax, I could have just put that up. Okay, so now I'm going to move point A. And point B, can you see, is staying with point A the whole time. Now that might not look special to you. It might not look special at all. But what happens if I do this? Object properties. Let's change this to x squared, for example. Okay. Y equals x squared. Now what happens to point B? Alright, now let's right click point B, object properties, and pause. Okay, we're going to trace it, and we're going to make it green for whatever reason, and make it huge, and I'm going to make it an X. Okay, close. So now what's going to happen is we're actually drawing the gradient graph. Okay, so you can remember, X squared differentiates to 2X, so that's the gradient graph. Now let's pop it back to where it was. Object properties. Whoa. Down here. It's very confusing. And we are going to change this to e to the power of x again. Okay. So now we need to move that point. Oh well guys, I've been interrupted so much, I'm not actually quite sure what I was talking about. But here we have the fact that e to the x is its own derivative. Okay, so that green bit is, if I go view, refresh views, remember point B is giving us the gradient of the tangent at point A. And point B and A are actually sitting on top of each other because at any x value, the value of the graph is also its gradient. It's a very special number is E. Okay, cool, cool. And so we all know that E equals 2.71828 something or other. Okay. So if we move this to here, when x is 1, 2.71828 to the power of 1 will be here. Okay. Remember, anything to the power of 0 is 1, so it's cutting through there. Here we go. Happy. Done.